This is another archival upload of my previous mix critique videos. Again, I apologize for the vertical format that this video is about to switch to. This is 31 through 35. Time for another mix critique. This one was sent in by Dominic. Right away, your hi-hat is way too loud. Cymbals overall are way too loud, very washy. The guitar sounds pretty thin. You gotta beef that up a little bit. All right, when we got into that little bit of a softer section there, things sounded a lot better. In the louder parts, the cymbals are just overpowering everything. All I can hear is cymbals, and I'd be willing to bet you that the room you're mixing in, the only treatment you have there is acoustic foam and not proper acoustic treatment. So you're getting some high-end absorption, but you're getting zero low-end absorption. So in your room, your low-end sounds really, really loud. So you're pushing your high-end a lot more than is necessary to combat all the low end you're hearing, you need to get some proper low end absorption because you push those cymbals way too far. Like it's painful to listen to how loud and washy those cymbals are. The other big issue in your drums is your kick sounds really, really boxy. You're not getting any of the high end attack or the low end punch from the kick. It's just way too much nasty mid range in your kick drum. All right, Dominic, the song itself, like this actual songwriting was actually really well done. It's a really cool song. I really enjoyed that part of it. The vocals sound really good. Big things are your guitar sound thin. You got to beef up those guitars a little bit and the cymbals are just way, way too high over everything else. That's your biggest problem. This track was sent in by Alex. Let's check it out. All right, so far everything sounds really good. The one thing that I'm really noticing is the drums are a little too loud, like the kick and the snare are both cutting a little too far over everything else. I have a video somewhere about using a compressor on an instrument bus to just tame the kick and the snare a little bit so that it fits better in the whole mix with everything. I would recommend checking that out. But other than that, it sounds great so far. The clean vocals could definitely use a little bit of tuning, either that or you just need a tighter overall performance in general. When we got to the harsh vocals, it sounds pretty good, but it sounds like they're not compressed quite hard enough. I would definitely compress the vocals more in general and also maybe bring down the delay and the reverb on the vocals. It's a little overpowering. It's kind of muddying up the vocals. All right, Alex, that was a really solid track. I think really the only notes I have are drums are a little too loud, bring those down. It's kind of messing with everything else compression wise on the bus compressor and then the vocals need to be compressed a little tighter and you need to tighten up the tuning on the clean vocals a bit because it's a little pitchy. This track was sent in by Micah. Let's check it out. That Kinda intentionally out of tune, little guitar plucking thing was cool in the intro. It's kind of ruining the rest of the song when it's going over the top of the rest of it. Like there's a lot of mud that needs to be cleared up. The drums are not cutting through enough. The guitars are not clear enough. You're missing a lot of the high mid bite in those guitars and the vocals are missing a lot of top end. The vocals are also poking out over the top a lot. Like they don't feel like they're sitting in the mix. This section's really cool, I like it, but everything's so muddy, and also just the overall volume needs to be brought up on everything. It's making it kind of hard to discern what's really going on. All right, Micah, that was a cool track. Like, I like the songwriting. All the source tones sound like they're there, but the whole mix feels like someone like threw a blanket over it, if you understand what I'm saying. Like, it's just, it's a muddy mess. Like, I'm hearing no articulation. I can't really discern any of the instruments on their own. Like, I can kind of hear the drums, but all the the guitar and the bass and everything, I can't hear any articulation at all. So again, the song is cool, but the mix needs a lot of work. This track was sent in by Steven. Let's check it out. In every feeling between joy and pain. 
All right, so far I'm really liking the overall vibe. The mix sounds pretty solid. So far, biggest problem is the vocals. They're very pitchy, like those vocals need tuning. And honestly, this is a very poppy track. So tuning's not gonna sound weird or out of place in this. So I would definitely tune those vocals. The vocals also need a lot more high-end sheen. Like they sound, the vocals kind of sound muddy. They definitely need to be a lot brighter. I also think the vocals need to be compressed a little tighter. They sound a little too loose right now. You're also getting some mud in the drum kit. I would cut out some of the low mids out of the kick drum and maybe even a little bit of low end out of the snare. Not much, mind you, on the snare, just a little bit. Strike that. Uh, cut low mids out of the kick drum. Don't cut lows anywhere in the snare, but boost a little bit more of the top end in the snare. All right, so Steven, overall, that was a really cool track. I really enjoyed it. Couple things I'm hearing. I need a little more low end punch out of the bass and the kick. The kick's a little muddy. Need a little more high end out of the snare and the vocals definitely need a little bit more top end and they also need to be tuned a bit because they're a little all over the place in certain spots. This track was sent in by Justin. Let's check it out. guitar's out of tune and whatever chords the guitar is playing is not lining up with the notes in the bass and whatever that I guess it's probably another guitar with like a wah or something but yeah the main rhythm guitar the chords are very dissonant and are not even remotely matching what the other instruments are playing you put me through. It wasn't right to pull the knife I like the vibe of the vocals. I really like this section that's just bass and vocals because that annoying dissonant guitar cut out. Yeah, fix that guitar, please. <laughs> this lead guitar riff combined with the effects on the vocals, they're kind of clashing a little bit. It's creating a little bit of mud. You got to cut some of the mud out of either the vocals or that lead guitar there. It's kind of hard to tell which one really needs to be cut. The vocal effect was really cool in the beginning of the song, but at this point, it's just kind of stale. You got to do something different with the vocals at some point. Oh God, again, the guitar is playing notes that just are not even remotely in the key of the song. Like, I don't know what the fuck you were thinking on that one, but that does not work. <laughs> You gotta work on that guitar because I don't think you understand music theory. 